What's up everybody, 915 Man here doing a video today. I got a little bit of uh, livestock. I ended up picking up a couple of fish and a little bit, very, very tiny, a uh, little bit of cleanup crew, three turbo snails. My tank has been looking a little lonely due to the fact that um, I pretty much killed all my fish, almost all of them, the uh, last video with the tank move that I did. Um, it was totally my fault. Had the fish in there for too long, going two and a half days in a brew container. I thought I had enough flow. Um, I might have, well, you know, I had a, a lot of flow, but it was just too much and um, it was dumb what I did. Uh, with that, I did end up picking up a hippo tang. A really, really nice size hippo tang. Baby, baby size, not even two inches. And then I ended up picking up a fish that I really wanted. And so I picked up a purple tang. Um, really wanted that fish for a long time. Still, the price was uh, very expensive. Well, it's 100 bucks. It was like 99 something, which is the most I've ever paid for a fish. I'll let you know if it's worth it or not later on in the uh, road. But um, it is nice. I do like it. Um, I plan on getting another fish, another tang, and I'll be done with the tangs. Um, this time I ended up picking up my fish from Sea Creatures. Um, I jumped between Sea Creatures and the Coral Reef. I'll be looking at a nice powder blue tang. I know it's a lot of trouble, those powder blue. At the care level is pretty much expert, but um, you know what? I want it. I wish I could have a powder blue and a powder brown in the same tank. And you probably could, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to stick with my hippo tang, of course, uh, my purple tang, and I'm going to get a powder blue. I do want to show you something that my hippo tang is doing, and I noticed, and they do this from time to time. They lay completely flat on their side. It's not because they're dead or anything like that. That's just what they do. They hide out. And they even sleep like that in your tank. So if you see them, they're okay. Now I want to tell you a quick story. I ended up selling some reefing gear. This Digital Aquatics uh, Reef Keeper Lite. Sold it for 40 bucks on the uh, Facebook forum. And my dog, my uh, beautiful German Shepherd, got it and destroyed it. Um, good thing is I was able to tape it up and take it to the bank and they accepted it. Now, as I got my fish, I didn't do a quarantine on it. Sometimes, you know, quarantine is more harmful than uh, good. The reason I really didn't do it is because I'm not really a quarantine type person uh, until it sneaks up and bites me on the butt. But I didn't really have any fish in here except for a wrasse. Um, the wrasse has been pretty strong. And uh, so I just put my hippo tang and the purple tang in this tank. Um... Lots of hiding room, lots of places for it to hide. And uh, this is a couple of days later where they're actually swimming around. Uh, my hippo tang has been hanging out on the top left corner uh, next to a bunch of frags that uh, broke. I didn't frag them on purpose, they just broke during the move. And I just put all my little pretty much digis up there in the corner and that's where the uh, hippo tang has been hanging out. Now the purple tang... You can see that one swimming around all over the tank. And uh, it moves from side to side, but mainly hangs out in the back of the tank and underneath some shelf rock that I picked up from uh, Marine Depot. Um, that was the shelf rock from Aquamax. Good stuff. I think uh, shelf rock is different and uh, adds a different uh, look to your tank. I'm going to show you uh, some of the corals right here. Still kind of a mess, guys. But uh, it is going to come together and look pretty nice later on. Now, I'm not done with getting fish. Of course, I want to get a couple of more fish. The big fish, I already told you what I want as far as tanks go. But I would like to get three to four antheas. The uh, pink antheas from um, my LFS, the coral reef. Uh, they have them over there. Uh, and I'm pretty cool with Alan, so I'm just going to tell him, hey, give me a heads up when you get some of those antheas. Because I want three to four of them in this tank. Uh, that would add a lot of splash of color. And uh, 
So that's what I want to do with that. I also would like to get a purple dotty back again. Um, I've had purple dotty backs. I like their personality. I like that they're, you know, tiny fish. And uh, I'd like to get one of those. Of course, a Midas Blenny, a golden Midas Blenny would be pretty cool in this tank. And I want to replace my uh, clownfish. Um, I don't know if I'm going to move my uh, black oscillaris back into this tank. Or if I'm just going to get another pair of clownfish and put them in here. Or if I'm just going to move my black oscillaris and get a re another replacement black oscillaris and uh, go in this tank. So it's up to... Um, we'll see what I do. Uh, but that's my game plan of what I want to do. And uh, here's a little look at some of the corals. I did... was able to fit quite a bit of coral into the uh, 150. There's lots of stuff that I need to frag and move over to another tank. So I'll be waiting for the for a sale probably of dollar per gallon so I can get a, a different tank and uh, start cutting some of these frags up and moving them out of my display tank. Now as everybody has been in reefing for a while, you know, you get a coral, you might start off with a tiny frag and then all of a sudden it's taking over, it's growing multiple heads. And uh, you know what, you want to trade or you want to cut some up and sell them for a couple of dollars or whatever. Um, I think everybody should have a frag tank. That's just me. And uh, the reason why is because if something happens to them in your main display, you have a backup in a frag tank. Um, not only that, but a lot of times if you trade them with a buddy, a reefing buddy, um, something happens to your frag, you can get a piece of that back without having to buy them and spend all that money. Now, I do want to talk about this SPS that I had. Um, in the video, you can't really tell it is white. But in the darker parts, you can tell that it's brown. Um, it has started to get its color back. And I would say that's because of the flow in the tank. Um, the flow in the tank has been increased drastically. And so it's, it went from brown and it's starting to turn to purple and a light violet, which is really cool. Um, polyp extensions are out. You can also see the algae on the back of the uh, glass, which I'm not sweating too much. Because I've noticed my hippo tang eating it. It's a really tiny thing. And the purple tang has been eating it. And also those snails. Um, I want to show you what I was talking about with the boneyard. Pretty much all the frags that broke when I was moving my tank around. You can see I have everything hanging out on this Aquamax frag rack. And uh, you can see that the hippo tang saw me. So it did its little defense and laid on its side. I guess as if I couldn't see it. But my main concern is that the hippo tang is comfortable right there. And um, and I'll start gluing up some of those frags eventually onto some frag plugs and moving them over to my new, uh, well, to my 20 gallon long. So it's going to be a lot of fun making this tank, changing it up a little bit. It's already fully stocked, as you can see. I have frags and corals all over the place, but um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Also, what I did is I got some of that Aquamax reef welder that I already had on my frag plugs. Um, these were already attached in the 180. I put them on the uh, dual overflows of the 180 and moved them when I moved into the 150 and I put them on the center overflow. So hopefully these suckers grow out, get some nice color again, and uh, start doing good. Um, I have still been using that Vibrant that my buddy Tim let me use. Pretty much uh, gave me a full bottle. Um, my SPS, my green uh, slimer, also took a couple of hits. And then I also fragged it to, for a few of my buddies. Um, and it's also doing really good. It's already recovering. And uh, it's really, really thick, thick branches. It was hard to cut as well with the bone cutters. But fish are doing well. I want them to keep doing good, thrive in this tank, and... Uh, go from there my ras is cool i'd like to get another ras possibly um even though i have a lot of uh his sand bed covered up but we'll see what i do how it goes guys well guys i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here i hope you guys come back and check out the next video um and uh thanks for watching you guys take care make sure you subscribe and i'll let you guys know how my fish are doing and everything else and uh, hopefully we'll have a nice update in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. You guys take care.